Right now, it is smooth going here in Aurora tonight at I-225 in 17th place. But this intersection has been a dangerous one for three years now. Dozens of accidents, some deadly, even with improvements being made each year. Denver 7 reporter Marshall Zellinger has been following this story since the very beginning. Why is this intersection so confusing, Marshall? Guys, I've driven this uh, intersection quite a few times, and I can't quite figure out what the problem is because there's a light here, a red light. I'm going to turn it here. I've talked with enough drivers, though, who have come through here that believe that this wall over here might be part of the problem blocking drivers coming southbound like that truck right there from seeing us waiting at this light, although they still have to go through a red light. I made a left over here. Jose Mercure is taking us back to where he was spun around three times. Take it easy over here. This sort of happened right at this light. Just a couple of months ago, he was hit at I-225 in 17th place. If you've heard of this location before, it's because we've told you about crashes here since it opened almost three years ago, including this crash that killed two in 2013. Turn green, and I proceeded to go in that. In 2013, there were 12 accidents at this intersection, mainly from drivers going the direction Jose was driving. So, additional signs were added, like this signal ahead 200 feet. That reduced the number of accidents from drivers going west. But in 2014, there were 14 crashes, mainly from drivers going south, like the driver who hit Jose. So this year, CDOT installed these yellow, hey, there's a stoplight ahead signs, and the crashes have not gone down. There have been 11 this year, seven by southbound drivers, and five of those after those new yellow signs were installed. Do you consider that a dangerous intersection? Yes. Well, the people have, you know that I discuss it with, everybody agree, is in agreement that that's a bad situation right there. On Monday, that intersection will once again be under the microscope. Police will update city council about the accident history we've kind of just gone through. We'll see if there's another fix that comes out of that meeting. Reporting live in Aurora, Marshall Zellinger, Denver 7.